So what's the name of this record store? Hall of Records. Hall of Records. And so, go on, what's, how's this set up now? You got like a map here, actually. Yeah, there's a little map set up in the different categories. And um, James, who runs the Baha'i Temple, also runs the record store. That's why it's pretty well organized, because he knows what he's doing. Uh huh. He worked at the bookstore downstairs for years, so. And you've had some demand on the vinyl here? Oh yeah, we've been selling tons of it. I mean, considering we've done zero advertising, and we don't even really have a sign other than a little paper one on the one. Just word of mouth, you know, it's just like, I mean, we have people coming from all over here to buy records now. Two bucks. Two bucks for anything that's not otherwise priced, and it's otherwise priced, it's over there in the case. Wow. And what do you think, I mean, is this because people are listening to the albums or to collecting them? a lot more people listening to them. Listening to vinyl? Yeah, because we sell record players, too. Really? So, I mean, you got this, and you got that, and this back here, and th this is the sorting area. This is where he goes through and cleans the records, and because he does, he cleans each oh, one. Oh wow! And uh, so this is the new stuff that just came in like this week. This and all this, and he'll sort all this out, go through, make sure the record's not scratched up and everything, and then he puts it out. He actually cleans them too, huh? Yeah, he spends a lot of time on. And then dang. Um, you're going to find a little more high-end stuff over here because this is actually a guy that owns a very big record store that brings stuff up to sell it uh -huh. in these cases. And then here's where he, here's where he plays them. So, you know, in-house music, we got a lot of Beatles records and things like that. So there's his DJ booth over here. Yeah, this is like the in-house stuff. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's dream to, you know, run a record store and listen to music all day. Hell yeah. I mean, it's just starting. It's only about two months old right now, but it's getting busier and busier all the time. God damn. And you said there's another record store opening up in uh, a, 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 above well, Dan, Riverbend? Dan at the bookstore, he's expanded his records a lot. Downstairs. Right? Downstairs. And then these people that are above Ron Bellany down there at the... They're, they're going to be putting a record store in at that Poppy Seed Antique Store, I think it's called. Excellent. Okay. So downtown Davenport has, will have a little uh, density of vinyl, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, we've got tons of it. We've got more and more coming all the time, so. Um, and then, you know, these other rooms, like this, this, and those, there's five more rooms over there, and then, you know, this is the sorting room, but then we have uh, three more rooms like this that we just cleared out. And we're going to, uh, we've got some people that are actually in the business, but they're out of area that are going to come and fill these rooms up. Another record owner, record store owner, yeah, is going to so do a that, you know, booth in here. Three more of these rooms, and they're just going to come and sell the records out of this store because, you know, cheap rent, and we got people coming up. So, 